Greetings family. I'm gonna try and keep this short because my battery isn't that full. So um, yes, I left my job. Um, you guys might think I'm crazy as do a lot of people, but I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't be in an institution anymore. I just, I'm too creative to be in a job basically and to be in a workplace where there's rules and you have to do certain things and it's just not me. I mean, I've spent most of my time at work, come home, I'm tired, I want to sleep, I have no time to actually create and I'm uninspired. To tell the truth, I was like, I got to a point where even thinking of going to work was just like, oh my god, it was a drag. So I wrote a blog post about this called Why I Prefer Being Unemployed and in that blog post I actually spoke about leaving my job at the end of the academic year because I worked in the school and that would have been, what, what July? And I was counting down on my whiteboard literally every day I was putting down how many days left until I left. And then it got to Christmas time and I had two weeks off and um, that's when I started discovering string art. I had loads of string left over because I made these bracelets for me and Luke for his birthday. It's a Pan-African flag and I had loads of string left over from that. So I decided to search what I could actually do and I found out about string art. So that's when it all took over. Like I spent those two weeks, actually the first week I was doing nothing because I, I was relaxing. The second week when I found out about it, went to the shop and I bought these big bits of wood, like huge MDF boards and I had to carry them. And that wasn't fun carrying them home. And then I was like, wow, how am I going to cut this down? So I couldn't find my dad's power saw, or if it's called jigsaw. So I went to the shop and I bought myself a jigsaw and I started cutting. And I started making my own string art. And um, about a few, the year before, I started making my graphics. I think I mentioned in the video before that I started um, making designs. And I had a brand called Mother and Diaspora that I had come up with. and. Um, I just had to take it further this year, so it, when it, after Christmas holidays, I was like, damn, I can't be, I can't go back to work, I can't do it anymore, I really can't. And I think what triggered it is when, I was meant to do a video on this before actually, but what triggered it was, in 2014, I read a book called Who Moved My Cheese. The book is really, really thin, it's like this thick, and it's basically a short story kind of thing, but it has a message behind it, which is about change and how people cope with change. And there's one part in it that always thought could be a quote that was, um, what would you do if you weren't afraid? And then that made me think, to the point where I was actually going to get a tattoo with it, but then the, person, the tattoo that I wanted wasn't going to work where I wanted it, and the size I wanted it, so I just didn't do it. But um, yeah, I don't have tattoos anyway. I don't have any, so that was going to be my first one. What would you do if you weren't afraid? That quote, if you follow me on my Instagram, I define me Instagram, you would see that I keep posting it. And I've probably spoken about it before because that was one of the reasons why I cut my hair off as well. That quote stuck with me. And then I was like, well, I was uh, if I wasn't afraid of losing money or having no money, then I would start my own business. I would do my own thing. I would do things that actually inspire me and things that I think will help other people. And of course, I'm in love with Africa and the idea of Africa so I decided that I'm gonna pursue this and promote my African inspired art and it's called Mother and Diaspora because it focuses on the motherland and those who descend from it those who are great and who are powerful and have a positive message behind them so I create more and more string art I created more um, graphic design I'll show you this one that I made for Kwame Nkrumah but um, the problem is it didn't have glass over the frame so when I was painting the string like that I will show you in a second it kind of got damaged luckily this was just the print that I wanted to put on my website um, but yeah I don't know if you can see the damage that I received from paint I think it was that got on it or something got on it but it's okay because I can print out more yes yeah, so I create um there's this series called Those Who Inspire. So, so far I have Kwame, I have Malcolm X, I have Amanda Steinberg, I have uh, Janelle Monet, Lauren Hill. I think that's it. And I have a whole load of lists that I want to create more people. And it's basically them with an African twist, basically. And then I also have I Know My Worth series. And this is Imani. Imani. 
So there's Amani, and then I have um, Kimia, and I have Nia, who you can find on my website. And also, I got some string art that I will show you. These are pretty big ones. So this was the first ever one I made when I first started doing string art. I don't know if you can see it. But it's the Pan-African flag with Africa on it. And it's a bit dusty because I've had it in my room for since Christmas time actually. Um, then I've also created this one and I've sold some, I've sold like um, commissioned pieces where people ask me to make a certain thing and I make it. My most top seller is my African flag ones which I don't have, well I have got some to show you but it's wrapped up so I can't unwrap it. It's basically the African map with the heart around your country and then the flag of your country in the background. I'll show you a picture. And then I also created these. This is called All Power to the People. Black this, Black Power. And then I have my t-shirts to show you. My Malcolm X t-shirts. So it comes in white and grey. So this is the white one. The white one comes in sizes small, medium, large, extra large and extra, extra large. So I have this white one here and I also have my grey one. So this is the grey one. I love the grey. This is the small and the other one was the large. So these are all on my website. You can find them there. Um, my birthday is on Wednesday the night of March so I decided my gift to you would be for this whole week from today which is Monday the 7th of March until Sunday the 13th of March I'm going to have 25% off all of my products on the website and also um, I do ship worldwide so you can buy it from anywhere there's a little currency converter on the website so you can see how much it would be um, yeah the coupon code is happy 23rd because I'm going to be 23 and yeah I think that's all I can really say I mean I'll, 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 at a later point I'll get into probably more depth about why I left my job like other re other factors to it but it's a bit political <laughs> but yeah I hope you enjoyed this and um, check out my website www.motherndiaspora.com and follow me on Instagram Twitter I'll be doing a giveaway soon which I almost forgot to show you oh my goodness so with the string art with the string art, I literally cut the wood, I paint it, I put the template around it, I hammer in the nails, put the string, and this one I created just for a giveaway. It's a special piece, and this is what I'm making the video, as you can see. This is what it turned out like. So at a later date, I will be doing a giveaway with this t-shirt and a print, and yeah, um, so follow me everywhere both on my Ida family side and my mother and diaspora side and I will see you soon. When you should have used some kind of shield to cover the camera because now it's dusty.